It's always a delight to visit a place that is rich in history and adventure. Such is the Lighthouse of Isle O'Oat, a classic Victorian structure that was stationed in 1907. From the time it was built, Isle O'Oat Lighthouse has saved thousands of fishermen and sailors from hitting the rocks surrounding the island. It is one of mankind's best creations. Today, the lighthouse is one of the iconic landmarks in the wilderness section of Acadia National Park. Inside the lighthouse tower, you'll find a display of photographs and old documents. To get in, you need to join a guided tour, but on special occasions, they do allow visitors to the lighthouse. The station is powered by a generator, solar panels, and a windmill, and water is drawn from the sea and desalinated. There are no ferries that transport cars to Alo Oat, but bicycles can be rented on the island. Many houses are without electricity, and Alo Oat was the last U.S. community to give up crank telephones. The number of visitors to the island is also limited by how many the mailboat can carry. Once on the island, you'll find a tiny post office, another of the island sites, the island store, if you need to buy groceries and sundries, and the keeper's house in for lodging. Our visit to Alo Oat Lighthouse is memorable and magical. We enjoyed a wonderful hike and picnic lunch on the shore before returning back to the mainland. Brett and I will definitely come back to this place.